Good morning. Is Conrad in? Yeah, he should be. He usually gets in around 8 and calibrates the equipment. Well, I know that, but he was talking about cutting back his hours over here at the observatory. <laughs> he works way too hard. Michelle, you and I both know Conrad. When does he ever cut back on his work? He never has time for anything else. He always has time for me. Ugh. He always has time for her. You know, every time you call me that, it makes me think of that little Italian singer from the 1960s. Well, you know I got you listening to her because of it. Remember last year when you had all her greatest hits playing up in here? <laughs> Connie? Hmm. How come I don't get a cute little nickname from you? Because Michelle is already a very pretty name. Besides, I've known you for years. If there was a really clever nickname for you in me, I think I would have come up with it by now. Well, I got you a donut. Mm. You're early. I didn't expect to see you here this early. Well, the equipment needed tuning for the new year. I know I said that I was gonna cut back in January, but it needed to be done. You know, Jackie's instruments are very, very delicate. She's not just a telescope, you know. Yes, I know, she has very sophisticated instruments that relay crucial information about the stars to you in your quest to chart the galaxy. Universe, Michelle. It's a little easier to explore our universe than it is our own galaxy. A lot more fun, too. I'm sure it is. Any chance you want to uh, explore the drink options at that new bar that just opened up on Sycamore tonight? Mm -hmm. Well, I... I promised my brother I would go to dinner with him and his family. I haven't seen little Bridget in months. Well, that's not acceptable. She's the coolest uncle in the world. She deserves to see him. All right. I guess I'll just spend another night in my bed drinking 2019 Bordeaux and reading poetry. Rain check? My pleasure. I, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm just happy to be out of the observatory. I really needed a break. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been charting more of our galaxy? Oh, well, bright, not galaxy, universe. I, it's funny, I actually had this conversation with a coworker today. What's the difference? Well, you see, Bright, we all live in the Milky Way galaxy, right? So there's the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, all the planets are within our solar system. Well then, there are tons of different solar systems that make up our galaxy. And then there are tons of galaxies that make up the universe. Billions and billions of them. Wow, we must be really small. Uh, yeah, we are. Your telescope must see super far. I bet people ask you to see through it all the time. Well actually, honey, uh, Uncle Conrad and his two lab assistants are the only ones allowed to see into the deepest reaches of space. For security reasons, they're the only ones allowed to use the telescope. And his is the strongest in the world. Yeah, well, uh, there's actually been some budget cuts at the observatory in the past year and a half. They they had to let Channing and Madeline go. So now it's just me. I, uh, I work on the telescope and the observatory all by myself. No kidding. You mean to tell me that you alone have access to the most powerful telescope on the planet? That's right. Yeah, Jackie uh, is about nine times more powerful than the Hubble was when it was in orbit. And uh, let me see, the, the only other technology even close is Japan. And uh, I think their new scope is only about half as powerful as ours. So you have the farthest pair of eyes on the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. No wonder he was at work. It's a shame you didn't bring your friend Michelle with you tonight. Oh, oh no, I wouldn't want to impose with a guest. No, no nonsense. You're always welcome to bring a guest. <laughs>
Hey, Walter. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, did Michelle leave yet? Yeah, about two hours ago. Finished sending all those reports to the Han. Oh, God, I'm so grateful for her doing that. The way they had that system set up, it would take me two days to get all the celestial maps uploaded. She is amazing. So, what's up with you two anyway? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. It just seems like you two are really fond of each other. <laughs> Walter, I assure you, the relationship between Miss Quentin and I is purely professional. All right, let's get you out of here. I'm working late tonight. I'll uh, close up shop on the way out. Miss Quentin and I. Galaxy NR0265, um, approximately 12.5 billion light years from Earth. It looks as though this may be one of a cluster of galaxies, um, seeing a lot of similarities between this and Virgo. Um, I am now calculating the distance between Huh. Okay, I have misplaced that galaxy. <laughs> um been in this business 15 years, never done that. Uh attempting to locate the second galaxy. Okay, I am having trouble locating celestial bodies that I charted a, a mere 10 minutes ago. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, okay. Galaxy NR0269, present and accounted for. Um, still not sure why I was unable to locate the other galaxies, but I can only assume that it was indeed human error.
Well, what happened? You look like you've seen a ghost. I have something to tell you, and, uh, I, I, I don't know where to start. Don't think about it, just let it out. Okay, so, what I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's gonna change everything. I'm a big girl, give me the bad news. The world is going to end, Michelle. Are you serious? I wish I wasn't. But, uh, but it's, it's the truth. And, and you've got to believe me. No. I, I believe you. I've never seen you like this before. Connie? How much time do we have? Um... I've extrapolated the- How much time do we have, Conrad? Six to ten months. Tomorrow morning, I want you to take me to the observatory and show me everything. Give me every last minute detail. There's a uh, black hole. There's... No! Not now. I don't want to deal with this now. I, I want to go to sleep. I need one night to act like I didn't hear any of this. It's because I believe you. I just need one night to process everything. Please give me that. Of course. Of course. I'm sorry, Michelle. I was charting a new galaxy near the Fargo cluster, about 12 billion light years away. It and a number of its neighbors started to move erratically. I was losing track of galaxies as I charted them, until I saw where one went, Michelle. All of a sudden, this galaxy just shot in the direction that all the other ones were being pulled. It was like they were being pulled by this tremendous force all of them towards a central point. Whatever this was that they were attracted to was either very close or massive. My only conclusion was that... that it was a black hole. Yeah. I watched this cluster of galaxies being pulled into the void. They, they ceased to exist. This phenomenon had to have formed over a billion years. I mean, this kind of thing just doesn't manifest itself overnight. No. Well, you're right. At the heart of each galaxy is a star. And when that star dies, it goes supernova and becomes a black hole. Even our galaxy is made up of other galaxies that have collided over time. That's correct. Now, this monster has been building over billions and billions of years of galaxies joining together now. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. We, we in the scientific community didn't even think that something this massive could exist. How do we find out how much time we have? Precise measurements aren't possible right now. My calculations tell me that this thing is both expanding and moving. I predict that this black hole will end the universe as we know it. It's just a matter of time. If Jackie wasn't as powerful as she was, we wouldn't even know it existed until it was too late. You mean nobody else is going to be able to see this thing coming? No, no, absolutely not. It's already the fabric of the universe as we know it. I mean, but I'm even having a hard time tracking it, and I have to defer the size of the galaxy. Its speed or its size, one or the two, is growing 
exponentially. Those really are exponentially increasing factors. By the time it reaches us, the event could be almost instantaneous. How do we find out how much time we have? As it gets closer, I'll be able to make more accurate predictions. Right now, I can say six to ten months, but in a few weeks, I should be able to narrow it down to an exact day. Maybe an hour or a minute. I mean, it's all math at this point. So this thing is going to destroy the entire universe? No, not destroy. Matter is neither created nor destroyed, Michelle. It, uh, what do black holes do? They condense everything that gets pulled in into one singularity and all that mass exists at one point condensed beyond our wildest dreams. Well, what happens after that is unknown, right? Are you familiar with the Rogers theory? Now, hypothetically, everything that enters a black hole is spit out the other end, creating an entirely new universe. A study in 2024 showed hard evidence that this is what created the Big Bang in the first place. A big enough singularity such as this. So you see, the universe will live on in one form or another. It's just that life as we know it will cease to exist. Wow. Really so... Insignificant? Yeah, that's an understatement, Michelle. And the hardest pill for an astronomer is one. Nobody can find out that this is going to happen. I agree. Telling the world about this would be unethical. Nobody can find out. Could you imagine what would happen if 13 billion people on this planet suddenly realized that they had nothing to live for? Uh, chaos, mass panic, potentially never-ending murder and crime. The, the human race doesn't deserve that. To go out in a primal rage. Ignorance is bliss. Just let us all die. Yeah, Walter. Hey, Conrad, are we ready to run that routine check on Jackie and the other systems? Yeah, yeah, I'll fire up right now. spending all my time at the observatory <sighs> charting this black hole. They're realizing the truth? Uh, no, no. Everyone's still as blissfully ignorant except for you and me. But they're starting to realize that I'm spending all my time there and uh, wondering what I'm doing. I, I can't tell them the truth. Well, obviously not. Just fudge the numbers better. Make it seem more believable. Dahan threatened to remove me from my position. I've been charting stars with Jackie since that kid was in high school. Oh, get this. So he accused me of trying to secretly chart a tenth planet in the solar system. I almost laughed when he said it. I mean, to think something so important to these people, like who gets to name a goddamn tenth planet in our solar system, is so insignificant compared to what I'm actually doing. Charting the end of the universe as we know it. You're taking this well. What am I supposed to do? Say la vie. Eris? The goddess of chaos. I named her Black Hole. I figure she's gonna wipe everything out, so the name is appropriate. The goddess <laughs> of chaos. What? I mean, you get to name your telescope. I get to name the Void of Death that's gonna wipe us all out. 
So, uh, uh, two months, twelve days, fourteen hours. Do we uh, do we know what that day is yet? September twenty third, twenty thirty five. Wow, seems so grim when you put an actual day on it. Fun fact, uh, I looked it up when I calculated it. On that day, the sky will be equal parts light and dark. 12 hours of both. Really? You know, that only happens twice a year. Do you know what that's called? Uh... Oh, uh... I have a date tonight. In two hours. And I planned it on Tuesday, and I completely forgot. Well then, well then, keep going. No, no, I'll reschedule. I mean, he and I haven't been talking that long, and I'm wait, wait, have wait, to get wait, these wait, kitchen. Wait, wait, wait. Is 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 this that suave guy with the the, the dreamy blue eyes? Yeah, that's the one. Do you know how many times you've talked about him in the past few weeks? Go spend time with him. I I have to get these kitchen chairs built, and I just Michelle, so much Michelle, to do. Michelle, Michelle, you are not allowing yourself to be happy, okay? You are trying way too hard to get to keep yourself busy, to keep your mind off of all this doomsday talk. Go out, have a good time. Don't think about any of it. All right, I will take care of the chairs. Thanks, Colin. It's great that you and I both had some time off, you know, you seem to work a lot of hours. Oh, far too many. Conrad and I are up at that observatory every single day, so it's really nice to get out sometimes. Conrad, like, your boss? No, my, my co-worker, uh, he's uh, the top level astronomer at the organization, basically NASA's division for charting the stars and learning more and more about our gap universe. <laughs> top level clearance, huh? Seems like one of those super strict authority types. Oh no, no, he's, he's one of the sweetest guys ever. Um, we met six years ago when I was an intern at the observatory, and he was the one that got me pursuing astronomy as an actual career. And I went from the lovely world of accounting to the life of an aspiring astronomer, you know, looking up at the clouds of Magellan. I love it. You're so cute when you bring up random celestial bodies like that. You're really passionate about it. Oh, it's my bread and butter. I find myself thinking of the farthest reaches of the universe every day. I learned a little more than I care to know, though. What do you mean? It's just a lot to take in sometimes, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is tonight, so come on, let's dance.
Well, that was a pretty successful night. Yeah, it was everything I could have wanted, Roger. Hopefully, I'll be able to see you again soon. Hopefully. Uh, I'll try to get away again, but you know, duty calls. Well, I'm sure we'll see each other sooner than this, but my uncle's getting married in October. About two months from now, I'm gonna need a date. Maybe you can come with me? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Are you okay? Oh, uh, I'm just, just not tired from, from all the dancing. Uh, I'm gonna go home and get some rest, but I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Okay, uh, drive safe. Bye. Bye. Michelle Francine Quentin, stop being such a depressed fuck. You still have a couple days left worth living. Have you interrogated the prisoner? I have. Hey, who says I'm a prisoner? We have no use for the cargo. Destroy it and confiscate the ship. What are you trying to pull? And dispose of the prisoner. What do you mean, dispose of the prisoner? Am I being sentenced to something? To death. Don't I get a trial? You have been tried and found guilty. I finished your tape, sir. Thank you. Our mystery drama, The Hole in the Sky, was written especially for the mystery theater. What's wrong? Michelle, I'm, I'm sorry. For what? For finishing my 2019 Bordeaux? You know you're always welcome to the cabinet, no, honey. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm sorry for for all of it. For telling you about Eris and our impending doom. Conrad, stop. I'm glad you told me. No, it was wrong of me. To tell you that basically we're all gonna die. That like there's there's it's meaningless. There's no point telling Conrad. anything. We're all Conrad, stop it. Look at me. I'm glad you felt comfortable telling me. If you'd let me live out my life like the rest of the clueless masses, I would have hated you for it. <laughs> you wouldn't have hated me for it. You would be dead. You wouldn't have even known about this thing until the last possible second. Life is just meaningless at this point. Conrad, shut the hell up! Look, you're doing humanity a favor. By not telling these people that they are going to die, do you understand what you're preventing? Do you? Connie, we talked about this. This thing is coming, and there is nothing any of us can do about it. We have two months left, Let's just continue to live our lives. No. What's the point? You better stop this right now. Would you rather have Eris come this very second and that this life just be over right now? Or would you rather have two more months to spend with the people that you care about? Two more months to spend with Bridget? With Warren and Deb? To spend with me? We may all be dead in two months, but you're dead now.
without payment. Uh, well, uh, what did you have in mind? Money. Elena, play channel 16. Next up, we have some news from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. For those who may be unaware, this administration is essentially China's NASA. They have had some pretty amazing developments with their aerospace technology, almost taking a world record. We're joined live by Mark Benson in Tokyo. Mark? Thank you, Stephanie. Ever since Japan made it to the moon two years ago, their space program has been receiving many upgrades. Last week, they put their new observatory into service right here in Tokyo. Inside the observatory is the InSight 3, the second strongest telescope on the planet behind only our very own United States. The U.S. has been the leader in space exploration ever since the commission of the DX490 scope in 2022. However, this announcement over here across the world means Japan will be taking a bigger global role in the charting of our universe. I'm Mark Benson, live from Tokyo. Back to you, Stephanie. That's amazing, Mark. Keep us posted. Hello? Hey, the Japanese have launched a new observatory. They're going to see Eris if they haven't already. Oh my god. If this gets out, the last three weeks on this planet are going to be hell. This new observatory from Japan definitely... I may be able to prevent that from happening. The Insight 3 is run by a small crew led by Japan's top astronomer, Tadeo Yoshitoki. The telescope and its equipment is run solely by Yoshitoki, much like how the DX490's instruments are operated in the United States. United Nations Service Line, who am I speaking with? Uh, Dr. Conrad Harland, UN credentials 970-65-D5. Thank you, Mr. Harland. Who may I get you in contact with? Uh, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Tadeo Yoshitoki, staff of the InSight 3 Observatory. Okay. Mr. Harlan, your credentials check out with the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and you do qualify for this call. Please keep in mind that international fees may apply, and there will be about a 45-minute wait before we can put you in contact with Mr. Yoshitoki. Yes, that's, that's fine. Okay. Congratulations on the Inside 3, Doctor. Thank you. It has been running very smoothly ever since we dissolved our relationship with our Chinese counterparts. I am very honored that Japan has bestowed on me the operation of this new observatory. I'm assuming that, much like the protocol of most other uh, major space programs, that you alone will be operating the telescope and its equipment? Oh, well, uh, up until a few days ago, I had an assistant who utilized the equipment with me. He has since retired. No, I, I understand. I, I had two lab assistants assigned with me to the DX490 two years ago. Uh, now it's just me and my co-worker, Mish. Uh, Mish? So you do have an assistant? Uh, no, well, she simply works in the observatory. I alone work with the telescope, yeah. Well, to answer your question, yes. I am the only one to operate the equipment at this time. So, now that the uh, observatory is up and running for a few days, do you have any... Uh, uh -huh. Initial observations that are uh, noteworthy, Any, yeah. anything that may be of international interest? I'm, I'm just, I'm just curious. I, uh, after all, I am your only competition at the farthest reaches of the galaxy. I, yes. I was just wondering. The initial five days I have had with uh, Inside Three has led me to observe some very fascinating sights. Well, I, I don't always get an opportunity to. Uh, talk with a peer about what these amazing instruments are able to discover, uh, would you be interested in maybe meeting with me to discuss some of your findings? I would be open to it. Anything specifically. Oh, I'm sure that we could find a whole lot of things to talk about. You will see me very soon, Mr. Harlan.
Hey. Walter, have you heard from Conrad? He said he was going to be working late at the observatory tonight. You know, he's always doing that. Yeah, well, he's not picking up his phone, and something is up. Oh, look, I like you both. But I don't want to get between you two and whatever you guys have going on. Going on? Walter, there's nothing going on. It just seems like... You guys have been acting weird the last few months. Preoccupied, like you know something I don't. Walter, I can't just... Ah, keep the secret. Just promise me you'll invite me to the wedding. Gotta go. Walter, there's... What? Let's get to it, Mr. Harland. I didn't travel halfway across the world to beat around the bush, as you might say. So, who talks first? I don't know if you're aware of what I'm aware of, sir. Shinosura. You have a name for it too. The great void that will wipe us and the rest of the universe out. You were able to map the trajectory of this black hole faster than I thought. I would have been blind not to have noticed it at this point. The human race is finished. The planet will end very soon. Solar system, the galaxy. You are intelligent, Mr. Harland. You know this. What is the point of contacting me? As the second most powerful pair of eyes on the planet, I needed to know what you knew. Why? We have weeks, if not days. So what does it matter that your astronomical peer from halfway across the planet knows about this event? Because I... Because you don't want me to bring societal chaos down on this world in its final moments. Essentially, yes. What if I already did? What would you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was just hoping you had the mentality necessary to keep this kind of thing secret for the greater good. Who are we to decide what is the greater good? Here we are, two mortal men, making a decision for billions of people, deciding for their own good to remain silent. It's a judgment call we have to make. And you are fortunate that we share the same sentiment for that judgment call. However, with regard to each other, our contingency plans are very different. What do you mean? Up until this point, you relied solely on my judgment to not tell the world. But what if, hypothetically, I were to go public with this. You admit that you would have done nothing. But what if the shoe were on the other foot, as it were? Then I would not have been so understanding. You would silence me. And anyone else who decided to share this knowledge with the world. I already had to do it. It's final moments, you must understand! I understand that you took a person's life to silence him! Oh, don't lecture me from your moral high ground, Mr. Harland. We both know we did not have any other option. That may be true, but you made a rash personal decision in the moment and then justified it because Eris is coming. Eris! Don't trivialize our deaths by giving this 
black hole in an affectionate moniker. Oh, sure, sure. The, it, the world is gonna end so I could just kill somebody, it doesn't matter. That's exactly the kind of mentality that I'm trying to prevent on a global scale! That we are trying to prevent! It just so happens that I am willing to go to greater lengths to do so. I could never take a human life, even if it does save billions of people their fate. Then you are a fool. Given the same circumstances, I would do it again. Have you told anybody else about this? No. No, you, you and I are the only ones who know. Good, Harland. Now, let's get into that telescope of yours and compare notes to see how much longer we have left. Not much longer at all. I'll go fire up Jackie. Your telescope has a name too. Don't come in yet. I got it. Disable all the cameras in the office leading up to the telescope room. If they find out that I gave you an unsectioned visit to the DX490, it's gonna be a PR nightmare. How long have you been here? Uh, I work here. I can show you my ID. It is critical to humanity that you did not hear what was said in this room. I just walked in. Uh, I'm looking for Conrad. Okay, I don't know who you are, but I just came in through the back. A likely story, but much at stake. I suppose there's a chance that, well, it doesn't matter. Michelle! Ago, I, I just in case things became too much to bear. I, I forgot it was even there. You were going to abandon me in the last few <sighs> weeks of my life? And what's with all this keeping me in the dark shit? Leaving my calls unanswered while you talk to murderous international astronomers? No, I didn't want you involved anymore. I still regret burdening you with this truth in the first place. Look, I care about you too much to see you get hurt by this anymore, emotionally or otherwise. God knows it's affected me. Each other. We always have. I couldn't let him know. 
that you know. You're too important to me, Michelle. terminated from his position as top-level astronomer here at the organization. His incomplete logs and his possible collusion with Japanese astronomer Tadeo Yoshitoki are the primary reasons for his dismissal. We have yet to find Harland in order to question him. He seems to have disappeared around the same time as a Japanese astronomer. I have my staff out looking for his co-workers, Walter Long and Michelle Quinton. They may have no knowledge. We need Harland. Find him. The president must make a statement soon about the disappearance of Mr. Yoshitoki. Tell the president he'll have answers. This will all be over soon. 